Continuing on now, I'm in the WordPress dashboard area. I've just gone and logged in, and we're going to have a quick look around. First thing that I want to show you, as I just move this window around here very quickly, is that now you can't actually see me. I guess I can scroll across a little bit here and back. See as I'm scrolling across and back and the, the screen is actually changing. Well, that's just one of the peculiarities about WordPress itself. It's really of no consequence, but it just makes things a little bit easier to read what's going on. So let's have a quick look around, see what we can find out. Here's our title. Remember I put in the title, WordPress Video Tutorials. Don't worry about the search engine's blocked thing at the moment or any of this other stuff. Here on the dashboard, we can see that currently on the website, there is one post, one page, one category, one comment, which has been approved. I think we might have a quick look at the website and identify each of those different points. But scrolling down, we're currently using the default, what's called the 2010 theme. I come back up here. This is what it looks like. Something like that. Okay. Just as we saw beforehand. First thing you might notice, which we didn't have before, is this bar across here. Well, this is just part of the edit feature. I'm going to show you how to remove it because I don't like to see my site with that thing across it because this does not appear for everybody. It's only me because I'm the administrator and I'm currently logged in. So I'm going to go down to the users section here, down to my profile. Remember, we set up the profile beforehand and in setting up, I used a nickname, WordPress Video Tutorials, WP Tutor, and so on and so on. Well, there's a function up here. Here it is. Show admin bar when viewing site or in dashboard. I don't want to see it in either of them. So I'm going to scroll down the bottom, update that profile, and then we'll come back and we'll refresh this page, which we're working on. And ideally, that should make it go away. Let me just move that down a bit. There you go. Now I can see the website as it will appear. Of course, the advantage of having that bar across the top beforehand was that it was easy to be on the site and log back in. Okay, while well, I've got this here. So back to our dashboard. Let's identify these different points along the way. One post. Clicking back here. This is it. Hello world, this is your first post. It also shows up here in the recent posts section. If I come back, I might just move this window down a little bit. I have also one page. Let's have a look, see if we can't identify that page. That would be it here, the about page. If I click on it just there, uh, it should take me through to, here we go, the about page with a default um, contact or sorry comment form there ready to go this is where you'd fill in these details the category categories help identify here we go categories but yet uncategorized identify easy ways for our customers to find what they want on our websites the comment just here now if we go back to the uh, home page also looking over here on the right hand side, not much there at the moment. Here we go. Recent comments shows up here and shows one comment here. I might click on that. We'll have a quick look at this Mr. WordPress. He's commenting on this post. Hello world. That's where they are. That's how they work. Okay. Coming down, that comment has been approved. There's currently no spam, et cetera, et cetera. And I've got six widgets. Now, if you don't know what a widget is, you're in trouble. No, not really. Widgets are these things which appear down the side. One, two, three, four, five. And there'd probably be a sixth one there. Here it is up the top. Could be it. Anyway, the widgets are over here. We'll cover these in far greater detail later. No need to be too concerned with them at the moment. But that's the dashboard. That's the look around what's currently on the website. If I scroll down just quickly, these things open up automatically, as you can see. I like to uh, shrinky-dink them down, keep them closed. Just makes the site load a little bit, uh, the dashboard load a bit quicker. Coming down, coming down, getting rid of all of this stuff. I, I don't need to know about all these other things. I'm going to show you what you need to know, not somebody's advertising, which is what all that stuff is. So, walk, walking down now, the left-hand side dashboard where we are. 
If you want to do updates to uh, notifications, you'll see there'll be a number just here, which is how you can update things as you go. Posts, making changes to new posts, which are like I just showed you just here. We also have access to working with our media library, images, videos, and so on that have been uploaded to the website. The links, okay, what's commonly known as the blog roll. Have we got one of those installed at the moment? No, it doesn't come default. Uh, I like to use the links. We'll be making some changes to them along the way. Pages are different to posts. This is a page. It will always be here unless, of course, I delete it. As I create other pages, they will appear up the top here as well. Whereas this post, we can see the full thing here currently. But if I go back to that home page, You can see that the post just has this little bit here and there's a whole bunch of white underneath. Well, new posts will start showing up on this particular page. Okay, that's our post, the difference between posts and pages. Comments, we can um, monitor them, make changes to them just there. You know, I clicked that button, didn't need to do that. Appearance, we change the appearance of the actual pages. Plugins, those things down the right hand side and all the pages. The users are us. The tools, we'll be going through all of this in time and the settings. Not many settings there at this point, but settings will be there, of course, as we make some more changes. But that's a quick look around. I wanted to show you that. Next thing we're going to do is install a new template. We're going to have a quick look around. We're going to change this and make a new template and then we'll begin building on that particular one. Okay, this is Paul Bars from paulbars.com signing off. Bye-bye.